Hello everyone. So today we are going to set up a simple tutorial level. Uh, so in the first step, these are the things I am going to work on. So initially I get use WSTA to move and use mouse to look around messages. Let me play and show again. WSTA for moment. Mouse to look around. Okay. Then when I go here. I get the message pick up weapons we have weapons here pick e to pick up clock and pick e to pick up press e to pick up fake and when I go here this door opens and get the proceed to next station and it automatically closes and it isn't open again so another thing is same thing If I try to go here without picking up weapons, I get the message again to pick up weapons. See? Right. I have to pick up to proceed to next step. Here I am planning to do some uh, something like a shooting range for training. But for today, I am just going to work on these parts where we set up these triggers and instruction blueprints and everything to show the basic instructions for the player all right so I have created this uh, sample level which has some um, like a corridor and here we have two weapons and move it up a bit and nothing here I'm planning to put some shoot targets here so once I'm planning the player to start from here so I have set the use the LMS LS game mode and let me place character here and process it so we can start playing the character from here and then initially the character should not have any weapons so i'll remove this default primary weapon secondary weapon and special weapon so when i start this is what i get initially without any input i should get some instruction that says uh, use wsad to move and we already have that we actually worked on that yesterday in the other level so let me just copy paste that this part in the begin play we just show this tip so i'll copy the same thing into this map training map so Training level blueprint. Let me paste it. Use WSTA for a moment. And we can improve it. Let's say after. four seconds we can again show a tip use mouse to look around it's very simple we don't even need to show that instructions we could instruction because people are already familiar but for the completion I'll show that also use mouse to look 
around use WSTA for a moment use mouse to look around okay nice now when I go here we see weapons and once I go here I should get another message that says pick up the weapons for that I think we would need to have some kind of a trigger so under pp I'll add a new folder uh, I'll call this mission systems because I will put everything that's related to build the levels or missions here hold on do we have a trigger already any kind of a trigger no we don't okay then let's create one actor pp trigger so i want to implement this trigger in a more generic way that means when the character overlap with one of these triggers the trigger should be able to do multiple stuff not just showing some instruction so i'll create the trigger like this first i'll add a collider box collision should be fine maybe a bit bigger and here on component begin overlap so we usually we only need these triggers to respond to the player so let's check if this is player using this interface event that we have already created if this returns true that means the other overlap actor is the player please note that this is some interface function that we have already implemented previously in the series so this is not a function that you will have by default if you are just starting to follow in this series in this video in case you haven't seen that let me show the implementation of this it's actually pretty simple it just returns this is player controlled value in this interface event the interface event is defined here clmbpi character is player some extra information okay so if this is true uh, let's have another custom event on trigger so we will get uh, this will function will be called on trigger function will be called and whatever we have implemented in this on trigger will be called if i do this here i'm gonna call on trigger and another thing let's have a branch I'll rename this as repetitive. That means every time player overlap with this trigger, we should get this on trigger called. Otherwise, let's have a do once and call on trigger. So that means it's not repetitive, this will be called only one time. right oh the once is changed in 5.1 or did i use something else no oh this should be enough okay now here i'll just add triggered 
to test this I'll put pp trigger here Yeah, trigger discord okay but this trigger is not what I want here so I'll create a child blueprint uh, I'll call it pp trigger instruction right now here I'll override on trigger event uh, we don't need to call the parent function because we are not really doing anything there but in any case in future if we have to do something like uh, recording somewhere if this trigger is called or not in that case we might need to call the parent so to be feature proof I'll add on trigger as well and here we need to show just like this we need to show some tip so get player controller get heart show player show tip so the tip I promote to a variable I won't put anything here and I will make this public pp trigger instruction now here I can change the tip so pick up weapons okay now use wsda for a moment mouse to look around and here pick up weapons why did it it was stuck momentarily does that happen always no okay uh, pick up weapon was called but it was overridden by this so here yeah, I already used this time to two seconds so we have enough time to read okay pick up papers now i can pick up but even without picking up i can proceed to next section so we need to prevent that to prevent that uh, let's add a door and let's check if the player has picked up these weapons then only the door will open so how can we do that right uh, let's create a child blueprint pp trigger door so this would be a custom or a specific case only for this look uh, only for this occasion but we do need that for our system so here I'll add same as before on trigger mm. so we as I said we need a door so let's
make it like this and so here we have space for a door so bp trigger door here i'll add a cube so this would be our door let's see the scale let's check the scale here okay rotate 90 degrees i don't think we need to have such a height so i'll make the height too right that's enough Shall we make this red? Do we already have a red material? Ah, oh, we have this one. Let's use that color. So, what needs to happen on trigger is slide in this door to a side. So if I slide it this cube not in that direction x direction okay to minus 200 it should be fine okay so on trigger for now I'll just automatically make it open Let's rename this door. Let's use more component to zero zero. Okay, mm, minus two hundred. So this should automatically open and I go here yeah so now what I want to do is if the player does not have weapons picked up it should not open and we, it should throw the message again pick up weapons so to do that um I think it would be easier if we just add a function to simplify this part. Show instruction. Not instruction, let's call it message. So, how should we detect if player has picked up the weapons? So, for that, since this is a specific case, we don't have to worry much about coupling and everything. I only plan to use this blueprint here. So, I'll add a variable player and this should be in the type any man ls any man character level. it can even be the player no issue so first we need to check if we have a valid player i'll make this public so we can set the reference if we have a valid player and if the player has default get 
weapon weapons wait what we need to access is default weapon okay so this is a class we can access these two get default secondary weapon and we can check if this is equal to now so wait why can't we check that oh no maybe I think we have this yeah this guns variable let's use that get guns and length we can check if the length is 2 or larger than 1 if that is the case we can 